<laughs> well, there's an old Chinese proverb that says that uh, a journey of a thousand miles began with a single step. And indeed, TCU has embarked upon a unique journey in preparing what we are looking at the next generation of leaders to focus on scholarships. Welcome to the 24th Annual Scholarship Dinner. I am Ron Parker, and along with my wife Paula, we have the privilege of serving as the co-chairs of the TCU Campaign Scholarship Initiative Committee. On behalf of the committee, we thank you for being here tonight and for your support of this wonderful University of TCU. This is the 24th year of the scholarship dinner at TCU, and we are happy to report that it is the largest attendance in its history of this event. So a, a round of applause to all of you. And we're also proud that we have more than 240 scholarship donors and nearly 135 recipients with us this evening, because that's what the 24 years have been all about. If you're in this room tonight, you know how important it is for us to not only ensure that TCU attracts the best students possible, but scholarships also help those students to further the TCU experience by becoming more involved on the campus, studying abroad, or simply leaving TCU a considerably leaving TCU with a considerably smaller student loan of not owing anything at all. Now, I know as parents, we love that and love to hear that, given what we have done for our students. We know at TCU, it is the best at educating higher achievers with significant leadership potential. We need exceptional resources to attract those students, those talented students, who are deserving of being the best to complement our mission. With that in mind, we've made the scholarships a primary focus of the campaign for TCU. With the help of many of you in this room tonight, we have raised $75 million towards our $100 million goal. $75 million. And we thank you for that. But we also know that our goal is not finished. We are committed to raising the additional 25 million by May 31st of 2012. So we thank you tonight for all you've done and will continue to do to help us reach this goal. The Campaign Scholarship Initiative is our chance to make a difference in the lives of our students, our faculty, and you, the donors and our chance to affect the future of this wonderful university. So thank you for your support. Now dinner will be served following the invocation, which will be given by Bright Divinity School students, Amanda Henderson. Amanda, are you here? Or will I have to do this? Okay, Amanda, thank you. As Amanda is, uh, is approaching the, uh, the podium, she earned a bachelor's degree in food science and human nutrition from Colorado State University. She holds the Wilbur J. and Jesse uh, Mildum Memorial Scholarship at Bright. After completing her Master's uh, of Divinity degree and the ordination in the Christian Church, Amanda hopes to pursue a career that integrates her love for academics, pastoral ministry, and multi-faith justice. So Amanda, will you please lead us in prayer? Beloved Creator, we come to you this evening filled with gratitude. Filled with gratitude for education and for the gifts of expanding our minds and broadening our perspectives. We are grateful for all who support us, who have guided us, and cared for us. We are grateful for our parents, caregivers, teachers, and mentors. And God, we are grateful for those who provide the opportunity to pursue higher education. We are grateful for the ability to overcome obstacles 
and move through these times of struggle. We know that for many, these years are not easy, and we give thanks for perseverance, determination, dedication, and endurance. God, we also come to you on this evening in hope. There are many challenges that lie ahead. The world is full of too much violence, chaos, and hate. God, we need visionary leaders, great thinkers, and bold risk takers. We live in a world that changes faculty to overcome obstacles and move through these times of struggle. We know that for many, these years are not easy, and we give thanks for perseverance, determination, dedication, and endurance. God, we also come to you on this evening in hope. There are many challenges that lie ahead. The world is full of too much violence, chaos, and hate. God, we need visionary leaders, great thinkers, and bold risk takers. We live in a world that changes faster than any of us can fully comprehend. We are more aware now than ever of our connection to our neighbors down the street and our neighbors on the other side of the world. We know that with this awareness of our connection comes responsibility and challenge. God, guide each of us. Give us creativity and wisdom as we work to overcome unseen barriers. Give us tenacity and resilience. And most of all, God, give us deep and true relationships to sustain us, empower us, and inspire us to make the world the place we all hope for, the place we know is possible. God, we come to you on this beautiful Texas evening saying thank you for all that has been and saying yes to all that will be. In the name of your all-encompassing love, we say amen. Amen. Thanks. Thank you, Amanda. Dinner is now served. Make sure that uh, you get the opportunity to meet the students who have joined us uh, at the tables, and we'll be back up shortly for the rest of the program. Good evening again. How about a uh, round of applause for our uh, dinner entertainment, our violinists, our pianists, and our harpists? Now, my wife will probably be talking uh, uh, about uh, and to me all the way back to uh, Dallas, but I'm going to butcher these names. But our violinist is Rachel uh, Arcega. Uh, who is the Modena Rogers Clark Spitzler Scholarship in Violin. Our pianist is Dean Pesky, the Judas Solomon Award in Vocal. Uh, and we are harpists is Hannah Fry, Elizabeth Olson, Lydia Michelle, and Emily Mitsky. How's that? Right? Good. Thank you. You know, when I wasn't... Um, in class on the football field, I used to play the strings as well. So, but but we thought we would bring in these students to uh, do it. But a lovely a lovely job by all of you. At this time, I'd like to introduce some special guests who are with us this evening. Soon you'll hear from Chancellor Victor J. Boschini Jr. And I'm delighted that uh, his wife Megan Boschini is with us. So if you guys could stand and uh, be acknowledged, since we have a full room, <laughs> Chancellor Buscini and Megan. And they are the supporters of the Megan and Victor J. Buscini Scholarship. We also have uh, Chancellor Emeritus Bill Tucker and his wife, Jean. Chancellor, could you and uh, ex Bill Tucker and Jean? 
They are joining us this evening, representing the Ethel G. Tucker Memorial Scholarship and the Jean Jones Tucker Endowed Scholarship. We also have with us the president of the Bright Divinity School, Noah Williams. See here? There he is. Thank you for joining us. And we have also our provost, uh, Noel Donovan, and his wife, uh, Jeanne, who will all, who's also with us as well. So, Noel. Now, we have several trustees who are with us uh, this evening as well, and their spouses, whom I would introduce, and I would like for them to stand when your name uh, is called. Trustee Malcolm Loudon and his wife, Ann. You stand, please. <laughs> Malcolm and Ann established the G. Malcolm and Ann D. Loudon Scholarship and the Ann Loudon Student Crisis Fund Scholarship. So thank you for that. Trustee Luther King, Chairman of the Board, and his wife, Teresa. Stand, please. <laughs> Who established the Meredith Franker Thompson Memorial Scholarship Award in Finance. My good friend Jerry Ray and his wife Betty, if they would stand please. Jerry Ray, Betty, who established the Kimberly Cash Ray and the Corona and Jerry Ray Scholarships. Trustee Joan Rogers and her husband Tom, who established the Joan Rogers Scholarship. Trustee Kimball Wynn and her husband uh, Mitch. Where are they? There they are. Who established the Kimball and Mitch Wynn and Dow Scholarship. Trustee Emeritus and past chairman of our board, John Roach and his wife, Jean. I saw them right there. Who established the John V. Roach Scholarship and the Jean Wiggins Roach Scholarship for the Kinder Frog School. Thank you very much. And at this time, I would like to acknowledge all of the scholarship donors in this room so that you, the students, will have an opportunity to see who these individuals are who are supporting you with your education here at TCU. So if you are a scholarship donor, would you please stand and let us acknowledge you. Now I would like for just the students to applaud these scholarship donors because they're the ones who are really supporting you. So how about a round of applause only from the students? Students. <laughs> Thanks to all of you for making this evening uh, very special and we appreciate all you do for TCU. It's now my privilege to welcome to the podium my wife, Paula, to introduce our student speaker for the evening. So Paula, would you come up, please? By the way, she's making her way up. Um, I must say that 2011 has really gotten off to a fantastic year. Um, if you're like me, you have more purple frog memorabilia in your home or in your office that is surrounding that, super, uh, that Rose Bowl victory that was done in Pasadena. And if someone says, well, how long are you planning on milking that? Well, until the cows come home, OK? <laughs> But a truly outstanding job by the university, by athletic department, and most importantly, our student athletes who represented TCU so well out in Pasadena. And for us really being a very character school, uh, Paul and I had the pleasure of having some Notre Dame uh, alumnus with us uh, out there. And uh, in addition to uh, them being uh, Irish friends, they 
have said that uh, they have adopted the Horn Frogs as their second uh, team to support. So, but a fantastic job, and uh, we will continue to support uh, our athletic program, but more importantly, our educational program. So, Paul. Actually, those friends of ours said that they didn't think they could root for anybody other than Notre Dame, but they were out there screaming their heads off. <laughs> Good evening. It is my pleasure to introduce this year's scholarship dinner speaker, Jessica Velasquez. She is a recipient of the G. Malcolm and Ann D. Loudon Scholarship, which benefits graduates of Texas secondary schools who enter TCU with and maintain a minimum 2.5 grade point average. Loudoun scholars must demonstrate a record of student activities and leadership potential. They must also require financial assistance to attend TCU and contribute to their education expenses. Jessica is a Fort Worth native. She attended R.L. Pascal High School. And here at TCU, she is a junior history and political science double major. She has a 3.7 GPA. She is a community scholar. She works for the Fort Worth Independent School District as a tutor for AVID, which is a nationwide program that targets students in the academic middle who have a desire to go to college but are falling short of their potential. She is also a member of the John V. Roach Honors College and serves as president of Sigma Lambda Alpha Sorority. In her spare time, she volunteers for Boo at the Zoo and the Boys and Girls Club. After graduation, Jessica is going to pursue a law degree. Jessica said this to her donors, and I quote, words cannot express how grateful I am for all of your help. My experience as a TCU student has only been enriched due to your kindness. I hope I represent the type of student you feel deserves extra help achieving an education. Let's welcome Jessica. <clears throat> kind of nervous, so sorry. Good evening. Good evening. <clears throat> My name is Jessica Velasquez, and I have, and I have the honor of uh, giving tonight's speech. <clears throat> As I said before, I'm a junior from Fort Worth, and I am pursuing a double major in political science and history with a pre-law emphasis and a criminal justice minor. <clears throat> I am also a member of the John V. Roach Honors College, and I am the president of my sorority, Sigma Lambda Alpha, a multicultural Greek-lettered organization here at TCU. After graduating next May, I plan on attending law school and hopefully one day working for the FBI or international organizations such as the United Nations. <clears throat> so tonight I'm going to tell you three things. First, I'm going to tell you about myself and how I was able to overcome adversity and become a su successful student here at TCU. Second, I'm going to tell you what scholarships mean to me and how they have impacted my life. And third, I will explain how scholarships continue to play a role in my life today through the story of a mentee I have developed a relationship with through the last three years. <clears throat> my parents passed away when I was just four years old, and I can honestly say I do not remember anything about them. But I always have memories of growing up with my grandmother, who took on the role of raising me and my three older siblings all on her own. <clears throat> my grandmother, Lupe Gonzalez, and one of my sisters, Danielle Velasquez, are in attendance tonight, and at this moment, I would like them to stand and be recognized. <laughs> Due to financial reasons, my grandmother was forced to leave school after only the third grade to help raise her siblings. So she never fully understood the elements of education and all the opportunities it could lead to. But this barrier has never stopped me from wanting to share my accomplishment, accomplishments with her. For example, I am probably the only high school student ever to be excited about report card day. <laughs> I was always so proud of myself for getting so many A's and pretty ang angry whenever I got a B, which I associated with complete failure in my paranoid mind. <clears throat> and I wanted to share my grades with anyone who would pay attention. I remember one particular experience when I showed my grandmother my report card. She looked at it and saw about 60 90s, which I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty proud about. But then she looked at me and asked, well, why don't you ha have all 100s? You have 100 in basketball. 
I tried to explain why she should be happy about the 94s and 96s, but I also understood that education was a world I did not share with much of my family. I was never told I had to go to college when I was growing up, and graduating from high school was seen as the real goal and only expectation. But I could not remember a time when I did not have the drive or determination to go to college, preferably at little or no cost because I knew my grandmother and family could not afford it. I became even more passionate about college when my grandmother was diagnosed with breast cancer when I was 17. I knew that one day I would have to take care of myself. But more importantly, I knew that I wanted to help take care of her. And I only knew one way to do that, education. <clears throat> my senior year of high school, I applied and was accepted to 10 universities in Texas. Just weeks before having to decide where I would attend, I, was, I received the TCU Community Scholar Scholarship, a full tuition scholarship to TCU. And my future as a horn Frog was sealed. Because of that scholarship, I was better I was able to stay near my family, probably the best gift of all. I know that if my grandmother or sisters ever need me, I am just down the street. Or, or that if I am ever craving a home-cooked meal, it is only five minutes away. <clears throat> Scholarships have impacted my life as a TCU student, too. This year, I received the G. Malcolm and Andy Loudon Scholarship, a scholarship given to student leaders who have demonstrated willingness to give back to the community. Because of donors like Mr. and Mrs. Loudon, I am better able to expand my leadership ability and participate in more extracurricular activities on campus. As stated earlier, I am now the president of my sorority, a role that, de that demands more dedication than I could have ever imagined. I am also a member of TCU's Model United Nations team and will be representing Brazil in the national conference in April in New York City. I feel like this experience will be one of the most beneficial and can possibly help me when deciding what type of law I would like to practice later in life. <clears throat> When I was asked to give a speech on what having a scholarship has enabled me to do here at TCU, um, I didn't really know what to say. But the usual answer to this question, and one I'm sure you're all, you are all used to hearing, is that scholarships enable students to become more involved on campus. While I agree with this answer, and while I truly appreciate how involved I can be on campus due to scholarships, my personal answer would differ from most, and having a scholarship at TCU has a different meaning to me. Put simply, having a scholarship at TCU is a sigh of relief an ease of the mind, and it really can change someone's life. For a while, I had honestly forgotten just how much this is true, and it took someone else's good luck and fortune to remind me just how quickly life can change due to scholarships. I've been working at Trimble Tech High School as an AVID tutor and mentor since my freshman year here at TCU. AVID is a nationwide college preparatory program for high-risk teens who could potentially be first-generation college students. Jeanette Gazzotta was a standout student from the very beginning and a student who made me feel like I could really make a difference in someone else's life. Just two weeks ago, while I was at work, Jeanette was informed that she was one of 20 2011 TCU Community Scholars. She had achieved her ultimate dream, a full ride to TCU. She called me later that night to personally thank me for always believing in her, and it was at that moment that I was reminded again just about just how important scholarships are. Her excitement and happiness was contagious, and I remembered feeling that exact same way just three years ago when my whole life changed too, thanks to scholarships. <clears throat> Without scholarships, I honestly do not know who I would be, because having a scholarship and the relief and happiness that comes along with it has enabled me to realize those things and people most important to me. Scholarships have even enabled me to appreciate all-nighters and midterms, because I know without them I would not be able, I would not have the opportunity to, to enjoy the ups and downs of college life. And I, would, and I would not be able to take the advantage of all the opportunities thrown my way simply because I am a horned frog. I would personally like to thank all the donors present at tonight's event. Thank you for helping change my life. And thank you for all the other lives you have changed. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Thank you, Jessica. And uh, as I was listening to your comments, and especially your major, um, I uh, have my undergraduate degree from the university here in political science and history. And uh, there were people like Malcolm Loudon who told me that one day the university will get a law school. I'm still waiting. <laughs> and if had we had that law school, Malcolm, Jessica will be coming back to TCU to complete her JD degree. So. Maybe it's a law school. And no, I don't, I don't think there'll be a Ron Parker Law School. Okay. 
I still have three kids and a wife and two dogs on the payroll. <laughs> but with that said, let me introduce to you an individual who really needs no introduction. He's led us in all of the wonderful things that you're seeing here on this campus, and that is our chancellor of TCU, Chancellor Victor Bruschini. Chancellor. Well, Mr. Parker, since I'm the chief fundraiser, I was thinking more of the Paula Parker School of Law. <laughs> and your name would be on very small letters under that. <laughs> to all of the donors in the room tonight, I just want to start by again saying thank you very much. I'm trying to look as many of you in the eyes as I can. You make this all happen. This is amazing. We have filled this room with our donors and our recipients. Thank you so much. This is such a great night for TCU. And I would be remiss if I didn't say to all of you, remember, we only need 25 million more dollars <laughs> to make our goal, 26 million to, to beat it, and we're gonna beat that goal. I also wanna thank Don Whalen and everyone on his staff that are in this room tonight who help make a lot of this happen. They do great work day in and day out. I wanna thank a lot of our faculty members I see as I look around the room who also help us do this every day. And mostly I wanna thank the students in this room. You make our jobs so great. Without you, we would not enjoy what we do as much as we do. And uh, I wanna thank you for studying hard and for being good students and good scholars at TCU. This is a special life uh, day in the life of the uh, university. And you know, when I'm at, on campus every day, I see how lives are changed by scholarships. And to all of you, I just want you to realize to the donors how important this is, especially in the year coming up. The money you give us is so critically important. Next year, we're losing over $7 million of scholarship money. For, we're, we're slated to lose over $7 million from the state of scholarship money. And that's all money we have pledged to our students that we're going to try to make up because we don't want to lose all these students. We have 1,414 students on one particular scholarship right now, which is about to be cut by the state. And so we don't want those kids to leave TCU. And so we're, we are going to ask you to um, help us again and again, because we want to make sure we can have all those kids at TCU. To give you an idea of the uh, breadth and depth of the support you've already given us, I just want you to know that this year, we have 1,209 students matched to 451 named scholarships. And so that's wonderful. We basically are giving those 1,200 students uh, uh, an access to go to TCU. You are giving them access. Now it's my privilege tonight to recognize 20, 29 brand new scholarships for the first time during the 210-211 academic year. The scholarships are also listed in your program, and I'm delighted that representatives of 28 of the 29 scholarships are with us here tonight. Will you please stand and be recognized as I call your names? First, the Robert L. Avinger Endowment Fund for Athletic Scholarships was established through the estate of Mr. Avinger. The fund benefits students on the football, men's basketball, and men's track teams at TCU. Tonight, we are pleased pleased to have with us Mr. and Mrs. Charles Isles, along with two of their student recipients, Garland Green and Cameron Tabor. Would you please stand? The T. Ross Bailey Endowed Scholarship was established by Wallace B. Kemp in honor of T. Ross Bailey, the Director of Operations of TCU Sports Medicine Program. The scholarship benefits a student athletic trainer. We have with us tonight Mr. and Mrs. T. Ross Bailey and their student recipient, Daryl Nelson. Will you please stand? The Amanda Michelle Bebout Memorial Scholarship in Nursing was established in memory of Amanda Michelle Bebout through the generosity of her friends and family. This scholarship benefits nursing students. Mr. Andrew, Andrew Kangara is here with Kangerga is here with us as a student recipient, as is Lindsay Smars. Will you please stand? I know they're here because I saw Andrew. Yeah.
The Philip T. B. Scholarship for Ranch Management was established by Mr. B's children, Jill B. and Ross B. This scholarship benefits students in the TCU Ranch Management Program. Joining us tonight is the student recipient, Mitchell Oftengarden. And I know Mitchell's here, yes. The Bob Bolin Leadership Scholars Program was established this past year through the generosity of Mr. and Mrs. Ross Perot Jr. and the Sarah and Ross Perot Jr. Foundation in the honor of the Honorable Bob Bolin. This scholarship benefits students who have financial need, have a record of academic excellence, who have leadership ability and or potential, and a community uh, and a, um, involvement in community service. Preference for this scholarship is given to former and current military personnel and their dependents, and also students who have achieved either the Eagle Scout or the Girl Scout Gold Star designation. Tonight, we are pleased to have the Honorable Mr. Bolin here to represent the scholarship, along with several of his recipients. The recipients in the audience tonight are Matt Acuff, Spencer Albright, Libby Davis, Zach Femall, Jordan Hatch, and Alicia Lamonts. If you'd all please stand, please. We've had a fun group with that, that table, a fun week with them, because we also this week got to have um, lunch with uh, Perot's, and that was really fun for all of us. The L.F. Curly Broyles T TCU Jazz Scholarship was established by the family and friends of L.F. Curly Broyles. This scholarship benefits students majoring in jazz studies. Tonight, we have joining us Ms. Ann Broyles, Mr. and Mrs. Bradley Broyles, Mrs. Clara Jo Minyard Broyles, Mr. and Mrs. Robert Broyles, Mr. and Mrs. John Tucker, and their student recipient, Garrett Flowers. The James A. Buddy Davidson Scholarship in Ranch Management was established through the generosity of James A. Buddy Davidson and his charitable foundation, managed by Sarah Davidson. This scholarship benefits students in the Ranch Management Program. Tonight, we are pleased to welcome the student recipient of this scholarship, Andrew Van Wart. The Gregory Esch Scholarship was provided through the generosity of Gregory Esch, class of 96, John Esch, class of 64, and his wife, the late Mary Esch. This scholarship benefits students majoring in news editorial journalism. We are pleased that John Esch and Gregor Esch are here with us tonight, along with their student recipient, Andrea Drush. Will you please stand? The Sarah and Charlie Florsheim Endowed Scholarship in Business was established through the generosity of Mr. and Mrs. Charles Florsheim in honor of their son, Charles Collins Florsheim, and his wife, Sarah Bessier Florsheim. The scholarship benefits sophomore business majors. We are pleased to welcome Charles Florsheim, Sarah Florsheim, Charlie Florsheim, and the recipient of the scholarship tonight, Trey Alexander. The Christine Solomon Gautier Student Apprenticeship in English and or Writing was established through the generosity of Dr. Martha Solomon and Dr. James Solomon in memory of their daughter. The apprenticeship is awarded to rising junior or seniors in English or Writing. Tonight, we are pleased to have Martha and James Solomon with us and some of their family members along with their recipient, Spencer Davis. The Heather Hunt Graham and James R. Graham Endowed Scholarship was established through the generosity of Mr. and Mrs. James R. Graham. The scholarship benefits students in the College of Education. We are pleased to have tonight's recipient, Rachel Gleetman, with us. Rachel, will you please stand? The Craig Harper Scholarship was established in memory of Craig by the generosity of his wife, Marla, and children, Allison and Clay. Benefiting from a golf scholarship himself, Craig was a vital member of the TCU men's golf team. 
Through that experience, Craig gained both a lifelong passion for the game as well as friendships that lasted long after the 18th green. This scholarship aims to provide that same opportunity to future generations of student athletes. We are pleased that Mrs. Marla McCaffrey Harper and her son Clay are with us this evening. Their student recipient, Tom Hoga, is also with us tonight. Will you please stand? The Rodney L. and Linda L. Huey Scholarship for pre-med students was established in 2007 through the generosity of Dr. and Mrs. Rodney Huey. The scholarship benefits pre-med students. Joining us this evening is Mrs. Linda Wilson Huey and her son Ryan, if you'll please stand. The Rhonda Keene Charter Class Scholarship was provided by the generosity of Dr. Kay Sanders and the friends of Dr. Rhonda Keene. Rhonda is, of course, a professor in our nursing school and also a former dean of our school. The t this scholarship benefits nurse anesthesia students. Tonight we welcome Dr. Rhonda Keene. And I know she's here, yes. The Ashley and Christopher Kleinert Endowed MBA Scholarship was established through the generosity of Mr. and Mrs. Christopher Kleinert. The scholarship benefits MBA students. We are pleased to have with us tonight Mr. and Mrs. Kleinert and their recipients, J.R. Honeycutt and Shannon Kingman. The Blair G. Loving Memorial Scholarship was established through the generosity of family and friends of Blair G. Loving. This scholarship benefits members of the TCU golf team. Tonight, we welcome Mrs. Charlotte Easley and Dr. and Mrs. Byron Lehman. Their student recipient, Max Bischel, also joins us. The Christie and David May Lone Star Equestrian Center Endowed Scholarship was established through the generosity of Mr. and Mrs. David May. This scholarship benefits a hunt seat rider on the TCU equestrian team. We are pleased to welcome Mr. May, his daughter Madeline, and their student recipient, Tassie Monroe. Okay, Madeline, how long till you're at TCU? Okay, <laughs> that could be two years, we'll talk later. <clears throat> the Juanita Freeman McLean Memorial Scholarship Fund was established by the family and friends of Juanita Freeman McLean. The scholarship benefits junior or senior phys ed majors with academic achievement who are also members of the Texas Organization for Physical Education Teachers. Tonight we welcome Mrs. Mary Wilson and the student recipient of the scholarship, Lindsay Gregory. The Dr. Valerie Neal Merritt Scholarship provided through the generosity of Dr. Neal benefits entering freshmen or upperclassmen who are National Merit Scholars, TCU Scholars, or Honors College students and are majoring in the liberal arts. Dr. Valerie Neal is with us this evening along with the student recipient of her scholarship, Bethany Lacombe. The Anna Martin Neely Endowed Scholarship was established through the generosity of Cheryl Dronzek in honor of her mother. Tonight, the student recipient of this scholarship, Crystal Galvin, is with us. Crystal, will you please stand? The Siebert L. Pate Endowed Scholarship for Harris College of Nursing. This is a, actually a series of scholarships. They were established through the estate of Siebert L. Pate. The scholarships benefit students in the Harris College of Nursing and Health Sciences. Tonight, we are pleased to welcome one of those student recipients, Gabby Diaz. The Peyton Ranches Endowed Scholarship in Ranch Management. Whoa, you ranch management guys did a great job tonight. <laughs> the Peyton Ranches Endowed Scholarship in Ranch Management was established through the generosity of Mr. George Bailey Peyton IV, class of 1978. The scholarship benefits students in the TCU Ranch Management Program. Joining us tonight is Mr. George Bailey Peyton and the recipient of his scholarship, Brian Morris. 
Thank you. The Schieffer School Davidson Leadership Scholarships were established by Ralph Davidson and his wife, TCU trustee Lou Hill Davidson. These, scholarship benefits, these scholarships benefit journalism students. Joining us tonight are student recipients Libby, da Libby Davis and Courtney J. I I know they're here because I saw Libby. <laughs> Libby is also currently editor of the SCIF. The Judas Solomon Award in Vocal Accompaniment and the Judas Solomon Piano Award in Chamber Music were established through the estate of Judas Solomon. These awards benefit students involved in accompaniment and chamber music. Tonight, we are pleased to have Dean Piskey, one of the student recipients with us. Dean also provided the piano music for this evening's reception. Dean, could you please stand? The William and Rita Stark Endowed Scholarship in Football was established through the generosity of Mr. and Mrs. William Starkey. This scholarship benefits TCU football students. Tonight we have with us the student recipient of their scholarship, T.J. Johnson. The coach Richard Sibisma Endowed Scholarship was established by family and friends in honor of Coach Sibisma. This scholarship benefits students on the TCU swim team. This evening, Mr. and Mrs. Scott Holman and Mr. Richard Sibisma are also with us. Also joining them is their recipient, Jeff Gettle. The Kimball and Mitch Wynn Endowed Scholarship was established by TCU trustee Kimball Wynn and her husband Mitch. This scholarship benefits students who study abroad through the TCU Summer Study Abroad programs. We are pleased that Mr. and Mrs. Wynn are with us this evening. Also joining them is one of their student recipients, Katherine Lewis. Tonight, we all, oh wait, it says here, look for Julie Witt in case you skipped any names. <laughs> Julie, did I? Good, thank you. Okay, she will signal you if no scholarships were skipped. Good. Okay, if one was skipped, she will bring it to you and yell at you. Okay, tonight, we also acknowledge the donors of 32 scholarships that will be awarded for the first time next year, and this is really exciting. Those scholarship and donors are listed in your program. We look forward to celebrating their inaugural recipients a year from now. This has been a great evening, and again, I want to thank everybody in this room who provides these scholarships. If you think for one minute that your money does not make a difference or is not a good investment at TCU, I want you to call me immediately tomorrow morning, and I'm dead serious. We will, I guarantee we'll fix whatever problem you think you have with that scholarship because this money is the best investment you ever made. The great thing about a scholarship is I work for one of the few companies of any man or woman or child in this room that has lasted 143 years. And I can guarantee you if you give me money for a scholarship, I'll make sure that scholarship will be here in perpetuity. We won't be here to see that, but I can guarantee you that will happen. <laughs> So please help us with this and help us get more students at TCU and help them to have a great education like you all did too. Thank you all and God bless you very much. I'm going to turn it back over to Mr. Parker for his final remarks. Thank you, Chancellor. Uh, there was one scholarship that I think you missed. It's the uh, Chris Del Conte and Robin Del Conte Moore Scholarship. You know, coming off of that great Rose Bowl victory in his second, no, second year of being our new athletic director, falling into the success of this prestigious university taking him from that lowly institution called Rice University <laughs> and from the University of Arizona, um, it would just be appropriate, don't you think, for us to have the Chris and Robin Moore scholarship? <laughs> My wife is telling me to stop. Okay. Uh, Oh, first $50 from Malcolm. 
but my thoughts are, you know, being in the world of business, when you fall into such a opportunistic moment and to be interviewed by ESPN and CBS Sports and being taken to Japan by Nike and to be one of the stylish athletic directors in the nation. <laughs> Some of those money should be shared with students. So, next year, let me say right there, good. Good, because um, we still have $25 million to raise between now and the end of the year. But again, on behalf of the Chancellor, on behalf of my wife Paula, and especially the Scholarship Initiative Committee, we thank you as donors because it is your hard work and your gratitude that has allowed these students to really experience a unique experience by being a student at TCU. And we thank you for that from the bottom of our hearts. So with that, I would encourage you to please go across the foyer to the Chancellor's Dining Room. Uh, we have our photographer, Glenn Elman, who will be taking photographs. And I think this is a wonderful memento to have of your uh, photo of your uh, student recipient and you as donors to have and to look at and to see what you are doing to make and changing the lives of the students here at TCU, and particularly the one that you're supporting. So please do that. And I would also like to thank uh, Don Whalen uh, and the development team. They're the ones who put all of this together for this evening. And uh, the objective, uh, as we indicated, uh, is to, this is the largest in the 24 years that we have had this. Our objective is to find a, be so large that we have to find another venue on campus. That's the objective. But to Don and your uh, staff, uh, if you would please stand. Thank you for the hard work so we can acknowledge you. Don Whalen, David, the development team, Julie, thank you guys very much. 75 million is in the bank. We need 25 more. I hope you've had a wonderful evening, and we hope to see you again next year. So good evening, good night, and drive safely. Thank you very much. Well, good evening again.